Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a gear sportage, gear sorento guys, you have engine light on and you have any of the following codes. I'm talking about code P0010, 11, 12 or 13. If you have any of these four codes, stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and we'll explain how you may end up even not buying anything to fix your car guys. So make sure to stay until the end and we'll cover super helpful information today. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years, for instance they start using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016-17 depending on the market guys, and that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So before we start let me introduce you to the channel, every single car we get at the garage guys we take them completely apart and we make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Also guys, if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Specifically, this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on. And with that being said, okay, uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle, check our main channel out to repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so many of you guys ask me in the comment section below what computer we use for diagnostics and i decided to share the information with you i will put the link in the description of the video below that's the computer right here that can pay itself off in one time use it works on so many cars mostly many cars guys that you can think of and key is right here it's amazing too that i would definitely recommend so if you're on the market check out the link for more information guys now in order to fix these codes what we need to do you need to guys remove the upper engine cover just grab it okay pull it on the back side you have bushing that you need to make sure they're still attached okay and make sure they're not left on the posts here because if they are you need to remove them and install them on, on the upper uh, engine cover before installing it on the engine looking at your engine now guys okay this is the intake side on the back side is the exhaust side this intake side is where the engine gets its air and fuel from so the codes that we have relate to intake variable timing solenoid guys so the intake camshaft is on this side so if you come right here guys that's the intake variable timing solenoid right here is a pcv valve you can grab that hose and pull it out okay so we have more room once you pull the hose guys okay for that valve inspect the wiring harness make sure it's not broken loose make sure you don't have oil leaks in the wiring harness because that can affect it as well another thing disconnect it okay and make sure everything's clean and not dirty on the inside if the problem still persists, remove the bolt guys, okay, and we're going to remove the solenoid. We will explain. Most likely you have a dirty solenoid or a bad solenoid. And in many of the cases, okay, 90% of the time you can easily guys clean that solenoid instead of buying a new one. We'll put the link for a new one if you need to and see how much it is. But uh, you just grab it sometimes with pliers, it could be really stuck and pull it out never pull on the plastic part itself because it can easily break the solenoid is right here guys now that solenoid okay if it's dirty on the inside it's ticking it opens and closes but if it's uh, uh, slow what can happen guys okay it can be non-responsive and that can trigger this code so we will recommend to clean the solenoid and we have a special video on the channels guys okay i think it's on world mechanics or how to repair guys our main channels that explains how to actually guys clean variable timing solenoid everything from start to finish and most of the, most of the times you will be able to save it that way hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time